need to go into town more. from prison following their sudden and impromptu arrival in camp. Agriculture, recreation... Thanks to our busy friends at the Ministry of Security, we won't have any extra help. But I'm sure we'll manage. We'll start looking around up front here. Commander, why don't you check out the wreckage? We can sink after. If I so much as smell one of those aerial degenerates, I'm showing no mercy. And neither should you, Commander. for someone else. Never took orders well. But Scarlet, she knows what she wants. Knows how to get it. No fear, no hesitation. It makes sense. You want to shake the foundations of the world? You can't be scared of falling rubble. And that's just us. Other ships in the fleet are just as bad. Captain! That's how Captain. it's done. Scarlet's dead. And the commander... You killed her, I know, I don't care. Captain, pull yourself together. The crew can't be like this. Scarlet was the post. Captain, you have maybe ten seconds before the crew sees you like this. And lose it all respect for you. We're trapped in the mists. And they need a leader. So, lead. Right. Organize the crew. We start working to fix this right now. I 
I know where you're going with that, and the answer is no. We have no other choice. How else do we get the part? Hmm? How? Uh, what you're saying is, we travel through the fractals in the mists, find our past selves, and steal from them? That's not possible. And even if it were, wouldn't we just be screwing up our own pasts? They're fractals. Echoes of pure potentiality. Our own pasts are secure. We'd just be exploring the alternative. Fractals are inherently unstable. We can't waltz around the mists wherever we please, like it's the South Sun Cove. We would have to travel to dozens of fractals. Stable fractals. And you're okay with this? Fighting? Maybe killing yourselves hundreds of times over? I ask again. How else do we get the part? Hey, Lori. I found a few recordings, but no leads. Who knew pirates had so much drama? Tell me about it. Just keep looking. If you might be on this Rick, calm down. I'll call you back. with the other ships. Renyak, gather our supplies. Guess we're about to find out how Kanthus changed in the last 200 years. Recording this conversation for posterity. And let the record show that Ivan does not like what First Mate Anka is insinuating. Not one bit. Relax, Mole Face. I'm not insinuating anything. Even an obsequious brown nosing bootlicker like Ivan must have noticed how much time the captain's been spending among the campus. She's in it. What do you call it? Uh, casing the place. The crew's getting restless. You should be ransacking the locals, dare I say, even committing a little bit of piracy. Instead, we're hiding in these ruins up to our ears in seawater and hungry risen. We're not hiding. We're strategizing. You want to pillage the most technologically advanced civilization on Tyria without a plan? The captain's got a connection in Kantha. That's our inn. We do a couple of jobs for this canton, earn some trust, and then we make our move.
explain this to me again. She needs a kind of dragon expert. She has every possible resource in Campa at her disposal. Why does she need us to find her a dragon expert? Apparently, they're in short supply, so she needs us to import one. Mm, a dragon expert? Yeah. I was thinking you could go to Radisson, maybe ask I know someone. What? I know someone. You think they'd be willing to come? No question. I know exactly what he wants to hear. Commander, need you ASAP. We may have just found our lead. I'll take that. Hey, know how long it took to find that thing? I'm scared of you? Some little rat thing with pointy hands? Well, hello, Commander. Say, didn't you just beat this gentleman's friends to a pulp? Yeah. Looks like I forgot one. We found him roaming around out here. Seems he was piecing this together. I recall Blish using similar components in his portal research. Appears to be a tool for mistraversal. Shame if we accidentally dropped it off a scenic overlook. And I hear the mists are lovely this time of year, too. Careful with that. We need... Fine. What do you want? Make it quick. Unka cited a professional interest in Elder Dragon research, namely Aurene. Care to elaborate? You're asking the wrong guy. Unka does the dragon stuff. And maybe my train? Who knows anymore? Sounds a bit uncertain. Because <laughs> it doesn't matter. There's better things coming. Big plans. The Jade Winds are a changing. Care to elaborate on these big plans, Air Fiend? <sighs> Rude to my associate and off topic. Commander, would you teach this bozo some manners? Keep walking, sunshine. Uh, okay, okay. I don't know what the plans are. I just heard some higher-ups mention it. Look, I fix stuff, clean the galley, might run a few errands. Nobody's telling me nothing. Gods, we're beating up the maintenance guy? This isn't helping anything. Ugh, let him go. Can you just give it back? Yeah! Corrick! Damn it! What'd you do that for, you little dweeb? Seems to have gotten stuck in these pointy hands. I could probably repair it quite easily, but I have work to do. Hey, so when are you stopping by the Minsec office for those files? Connie's got to lock up at some point. She really doesn't like working overtime. Detective, can you please stop hacking our private communications? I'm not hacking. <laughs> for the love of... Commander, if you want those files, then they're waiting at the Minsec office. Don't try any funny business. I understand. I'll be there soon. I guess we got a lead out of him. A little cryptic, but I can work with it. I've never felt so alive! Now I know how the Mantis feels as it closes in on its prey. Take it easy, tough guy. That was pretty badass. But there is a certain finesse to this job. We'll practice. You can try being good cop next time.
shape here. Right? Detective Rama gave me permission to be here. Okay, yeah, that's totally interesting. I'm gonna dig through your archives. In the back, knock yourself out. Ooh, I'll be keeping a close eye on you. Is that what you were looking for? I achieve things. Some of those I'm files an achiever. are super off limits to you. Ugh, are you doing something gross back here? Got what you needed? Those files are so old and boring. What do you even want from them? Cog skull, huh? The Aether Blades must be marking their territory. Hey, what do you think of Minister Lee? Total buzzkill, am I right? Hey, have you ever been to New Kynang? It's like, so much more exciting. Hey, bye. Commander, I'm at Orbean's cave. You need to get over here, like right now. I'm on my way. This area is nice. Good for us here. Refreshing. The people seem friendly. Market's close.
I speak in poems. Passes the time while fishing. Keeps the mind sharp. Me, you're here. What's going on, Tiny? I don't know. Oreen and Kate, they're... They're fine. June, what are you doing here? I told you my jade tech can help your dragon. So that's what I'm doing. Helping. We were talking to Oreen when she went quiet all of a sudden. It's like she's sleeping. But not. I thought it could be a concussion from the fall. But then Kate... She fell silent, too, while still standing. I don't know if she's being affected because of their connection or what. All my tests show Aurene's magic levels are steadily improving. Perhaps the extractor caused a lingering sight of her. Maybe. But it's impossible to tell without the device itself. Hello? Hello? Commander? Oh. Commander. Over, Over here. here. Heath, Heath, Heath. Where, are we? where are we? Shh. They're talking. talking. They're not just mortals. They're my friends. They're your flock. The shepherd watches and protects, but she does so in solitude. When I created the others, I thought, I don't have to be alone anymore. <sighs> the other elder dragons? You were there. Hmm. I was imperfect, you see. Attuned to water, but not the other elements. I thought my children would bring balance and harmony to the fabric of magic. But... Then, what happens now, Suan? Now, you take my place, little one. Consider what I've said. Looks like they're coming around. Oh, good. I thought it was contagious. What just happened? That was the first Elder Dragon. The mother of all dragons. Isn't that right, Aurene? Kralkatorix. Mother. My great-grandmother. What? what? We'd spoken before. A few times. I didn't know who she was until we came here. What does she want? For me, to take her place. Take her place? And become the one Elder Dragon. The last Elder Dragon who wanted something from you was Jormag. And we know how that turned out. 
Su Wang isn't Jormag. Can we be sure? You can. Su Wan's been Kantha's guardian since the Zaitan disaster. Or so goes the legend. I need some time to think about this. Of course. In the meantime, we still have to find the Aether Blades. And whatever that extractor thing is, how did they get their hands on something capable of doing this? Anka was a brilliant machinist, and that weapon was a Sura made, but the technology's beyond even the inquest. That's because it's Canthan. I gave it to my Trin. You hired them, didn't you? I did. You? You hired them? This is all because of- I didn't know what they were capable of, or their history in Tyria. If I did, I never would have- I'm sure you have questions. Ask me anything. She was working for me. She's got Canthan ancestry, so she could walk among us. My guards caught her snooping around one of my power plants. She'd hacked my security system. I could have made her disappear. No one knew who she was, after all. But I was impressed at her resourcefulness, so I told her to come work for me. I need people who can find my blind spots, and I took a liking to her. She became my protege. Bit of a slow learner, but she worked her ass off. Whenever I tried explaining Jade Thama dynamics, she struggled. But somehow she always figured it out. I could never put my finger on it. That woman was haunted by something. Maybe all the people she killed at Lion's Arch. Maybe. I needed dragon research. As you're acutely aware, the dragon cycle threatens us all. And it turns out the best dragon researchers exist outside of Cantha. Mm-hmm. She's got a point there. The Aether Blades could go where I couldn't. That's why I needed Mai and her crew. I never asked them to kidnap anyone. I wanted to import talented researchers with their consent. Apparently, they came out of the mists. They were lucky to have landed in the ruins of old Kaining and not... Well... You saw what happened when you dropped in on Xingjie? I suppose it began with the Zaitan disaster. The massive tidal wave of undead that came crashing to our shores. Worst calamity since the Jade Wind. Even a hundred years later, with all our advances, we still feel the effects. Well, Su Wan is the hero of that story. Rising from the depths, turning back the waters and the dead. Poetic stuff. People say she formed a pact with Kunavang to protect Kantha. Salt spray dragon, local, hero in her own right. But, aside from a few rumors here and there, they've hardly been seen since. For Su Wan to reach out to Orin so soon after her arrival, well, it's certainly a fascinating development. Jun, the Aetherblades are planning something big. We need to track down Maitrin before it's too late. I only spoke with Mai, and usually on my turf. They have a number of hideouts across Kantha. In Xingjie, I'd expect her to be hiding somewhere in Zendai Jun. A cave, if I know her. My sources tell me the Ministry of Security's been looking for her, but somehow she's avoided detection. The Blades are a sneaky bunch, but we've got experience with their bag of tricks. Okay then. Marjorie, Gorik. Let's finish this investigation. Let me know when you find my Trin, Commander. One more thing for my list of accomplishments. 